let's say we've made a scale, and over here is evil, and over here is God. Okay? Maybe when you first believed in Jesus, you're over here. Okay? God brings us over time. Sometimes it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> towards this way, you never make it towards perfection, but over time, this is what the Bible calls sanctification. It's a big word for being cleansed or becoming like God. Your, maybe your atheist friend, say you have an atheist friend, starts here. Do you know what I mean? They're here, they don't believe in God, but they're just, you're really bad. You know what I mean? And they're not as bad as you. Uh, you know, you may go slow, you may start way back here, and you come up to them as far as like living a holy life. Mm -hmm. But over time, you're going to be brought towards God. So, uh, if you keep on, if you're a person who keeps on doing the same sin, what I would do tonight is talk to your small group leader, you know, or if you know somebody, call them out on it. And, and bring, you know, bring prayer into it. I truly believe that God can heal somebody of a perpetual sin. So, but God will keep forgiving, but tonight it's also he puts a responsibility on you to start to take action and yield to him to like cleanse you of that sin. Does that make sense? So you can take big backslides for sure, um, but God can, I definitely believe God can heal that. Yeah. So what if it's my conviction and I believe he's sinning, but he doesn't think he's sinning? Uh, and I call him out on it, and then he's like, what are you talking about? It's not a sin. Like, I'm okay with it. Uh, is it, look, assuming that's what you, what you realize is something that's in scripture? Yeah. Okay. Um, then I would show <laughs> that person in scripture. I will show that person in scripture. Okay. Hopefully they have a value for scripture. Okay. Uh, or I would just pray for that person and say, hey, let's pray and have God convict you if you don't believe me. Now, uh, it could be maybe that person's just pretending to be a Christian, you know what I mean, and not a rook. So they don't have a value for God or the Bible, whatever. They just come to snack on, there's cute women here, there's like food here, or whatever. <laughs> or there's just friends here and I like it. It's a fun club. Mm -hmm. So that person... You know, they might not change. Or it could be, after a couple years, God just, bam, brings some sense into them. And then they change their life around. So, I would definitely pray, but I would, I would definitely talk to that person for sure. Yeah, and bring prayer into it. And the Bible. 